Welcome back to the WHHI News. Franny Gerthofer of Hilton Head Humane joins me now with one of her buddies, Lily. We're going to find out about Lily in a minute. Thanks for coming in. Thank you. We always appreciate it. I know you want to talk about microchipping your pet. Uh, why is it important? Well, it's so important. Identification is the key. And so just recently, we've had two of our animals end up in two different states, one Tennessee, one Texas, and we were able to um, actually retrieve our dog in Tennessee. Um, but, and then in Texas, we were able to um, reconnect the dog with its owner who actually lives there. Okay. So, so, I mean, it's just important that, and we are like Grand Central Station sometimes when it comes to the microchip. So it's, 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 it's always so, good to have that information. Absolutely. So in other words, in one instance, I think you told me the person left the dog. Yeah, I hate hearing that. I that know. had adopted from you guys, was in another state, so you got the dog back. Right. But that's great. In the other instance, someone from elsewhere had adopted a dog here, the dog got lost, and you were able to get the dog exactly. back Exactly. the owner. So and important. The, and the other thing, too, is although we are able to um, look up all that information, it is important to also register your own chip. So oh, it is? It is. It truly is. It, okay. With your information. But if if the microchipping database company cannot get a hold of you, then they will get a hold of the organization that implanted the chip. So okay. you do have a backup. But still, you should do it yourself. It, it, it's just, it's a double backup. Yeah, so yeah. it's great. Okay, Lily, it's okay, Lily. We're <laughs> going to get to you eventually. <laughs> okay, baby. <laughs> Pay what, attention. I want to ask you something. What, what happens if I happen to be in a different county and I find a dog? Should I bring it to you? Because I know you're a non-kill shelter and I want you to save the dog or the cat or whatever. What, what should I do? Well, you know, that is always like the mindset. And we do appreciate that. That, you know, it points towards our reputation. However, it is a very good idea to at least locate the local shelter Where in I that county, it. of course, to report the dog, to see if they can take the dog or cat in. Um, it could be uh, lost. And so you don't want to really bring a dog to another county or even another state if there there's a family that might be looking right. for it. So, so and oftentimes people judge the animal animal by how it looks. So you, you but you never know how long an animal has been lost. So right. and I'm not saying that sometimes okay, it's not Lily. the best idea yeah. <laughs> to probably bring it to maybe a different organization or find it a different home, but right. we, we try not to judge that until we get all the information. Okay. So check in with that local county it's shelter so first. It's so important. It's so important to you, find you that You guys local. do have a, you have a great reputation. Uh, and I know you have taken dogs that have been at a kill shelter that are wonderful dogs and gotten them adopted. Yes, and cats. I mean, so we, yeah. and, and we all work together, so that makes a difference too. But yeah. um, but like this, this little one, yeah. not so little. Yeah, I know, a little heavy for you to pick good old Lily up. <laughs> you get tell, your work out. Yeah, tell us about Lily well, now. Well, she, is, she uh, again, with our partnership with Beaufort County, we pulled her from the county. She uh -huh. was a stray, um, and she's a bit older. Uh -huh. So who knows hard, what her... How hard is that? You know, I remember the movie where an older person was saying, I'm going to adopt an older dog, but how hard is it for a 10-year-old Lily to get adopted? Well, see, I think there's somebody out there for everyone. <laughs> yeah. I am attracted to the older ones and right. the ones that are medically challenged. And I think that there are people out there that, you know, are as well. And then people are they attracted to puppies or it just depends on, you know, what right. they're attracted to. But I think I, they're they're not uh, any di more difficult than another animal to get adopted. Well, they're just don't act difficult right but, now. <laughs> but what's so interesting about her yeah. is that at 10 years old and we had a few medical um, things that we had to fix with her. She had some bad she had some bad teeth we had to pull and those kind of things. Yeah. But but the point is she has a lot of energy. She yeah. jumped right into my she's Jeep. She's great. And she's uh, she's very agile for an old Good. kind of slightly plump yeah. beagle. Well, so, you know, we can get slightly <laughs> plump and still be energetic. We're almost out of time, but let's promote what's coming up for the holidays for you guys. Uh, just please check our website. Okay. But we do have our community Christmas party on December That's 8th. That's always fun. With Santa from 12 to 4 at the Hilton Head campus. And it's always a fun time. So Absolutely. we have some giveaways and some treats. And, of course, Santa will be there. So get Wonderful. your picture taken. Well, Franny Gerthofer, thanks for uh, bringing Lillian. And thanks for stopping by. Thank you. And we'll be back in just a moment.